Let's understand the Lord's Prayer and how can we incorporate that in our life. The first part of the Lord's Prayer is praise and worship, where Lord says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, with praise and worship, helps us focus on God. In Psalm 104 it says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. This verse reminds us to begin our prayers by thanksgiving and praising God for who he is and for his blessings. The second aspect of this prayer is God's will, in which Lord Jesus teaches his disciples to pray that your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Knowing God's will is very important in our life. But how shall we know God's will? The easiest way to know God's will is reading the word of God. Because the word of God is the will of God. So whenever you read the word of God, any scripture that you feel that the scripture is talking to you, or any particular scripture that you feel that you need it to be accomplished in your life, take that scripture and declare it and pray that scripture over you, over your family and over that situation. Because that scripture is the will of God for you. You don't have to doubt because that is the perfect will of God. So when you declare that scripture, that means you're declaring the will of God upon your life. The third aspect of Lord's Prayer is daily need, in which Lord Jesus prays and says, give us today our daily bread. Asking for daily needs is very important. When we ask God to provide for our daily needs, as we see in Matthew 6, 11, Jesus teaches us, this means asking God to take care of our everyday needs, such as food, shelter and health, and as well as all the needs of our family members. By doing this, we show that we trust God in taking care of us. The fourth aspect of the prayer is forgiveness. And forgive us our sin, and forgive us our debts, as we have forgiven our debtors. Seeking forgiveness, it's important to ask God for forgiveness for our sins. In 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. This verse assures us that God will forgive us. God will forgive us when we confess our wrongdoings, including this in our prayers, helps keep our heart clean and our relationship strong with God. The fifth is guidance and protection. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Now finally, we can ask God to guide and protect us. In Psalm 23, 3, it says, He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Asking for God's guidance helps us make good choices and avoid trouble. We can also ask God to protect us from harm and evil.